You can see stars across every angle when the sky is dark and clear. You might think you've found yourself in the center of the universe. And yet, you insist that you are. And if that's not the case, where exactly is the center of the world? If you're a science enthusiast, this is one of the answers you might be interested in finding. Before we take you into the detailed answers on what scientists have found to be the center of the universe, let us know what you think in the comments section below. We'd also appreciate it if you liked our video and followed us for more interesting topics like this. So where is the center of the universe based on the most recent scientific discoveries? In reality, the universe is completely centerless. The world has been spreading ever since Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. Although it is called a Big Bang, the event did not involve an explosion that spread outward from a single location. It all began when the cosmos was incredibly small and dense. After that, everywhere in the cosmos grew at the same rate, a trend that persists today. Consequently, there is no center to the cosmos because there is no known point of origin. Think of it like this. Two ants that occupy the surface of a perfectly round balloon. Nothing on the ground stands out to an ant since everything is so flat. When looking at the surface of the sphere, you won't find a central point or a boundary. Inflating the balloon will make the ant's two-dimensional world seem more three-dimensional. Similar to the actual cosmos, they begin to recede from one another when you draw dots on the surface. Any third aspect that stretches perpendicular to the balloon's surface, like moving into the heart of the balloon, has no worth for iteration in this two-dimensional environment. It is aware of both the forward and reverse directions, to the left and the right. Ohio State University astrologer Barbara Rodden put it this way, but it doesn't know what's up or what's down. The universe is like the ant's balloon cosmos, but in three dimensions. However, Ryden said that the balloon's small surface area is meant to depict a finite universe, which cosmologists are still debating whether or not it is true of our own. The distance light has traveled since the Big Bang means that cosmologists can only see a small fraction of the universe, while the universe itself may be endless. If so, the balloon could be swapped for a flat, growing rubber sheet that goes on forever. Alternately, think of an infinitely expanding loaf of raisin bread if you like a three-dimensional universe. In this scenario, the galaxies are symbolized by the flying raisins. For Ryden, if the cosmos is endless, there is no center. She made this statement to live science. The sum of the universe's energy and mass determines whether or not the cosmos is flat. In a world where the mass and energy density is just right, space would expand at a constant and an accelerating rate at the so-called critical density, making the cosmos flat like a blanket. The universe, however, would be stretched like a balloon if the concentration were larger. The expansion rate would decrease if the universe were denser due to the additional gravity. Meanwhile, if the universe's density were lower than its critical value, the expansion would speed up much faster. In this case, the cosmos would have a negative curvature resembling a saddle. However, it would still lack a focal point because it would be limitless. Thus far, conceptions and observational data, such as the cosmic background radiation and the haze from the Big Bang, indicate a strikingly flat cosmos. However, cosmologists are still uncertain as to whether or not the universe is flat or whether the curvature is so great that the cosmos appears dull, like the surface of the Earth. The cosmic principle states that there is nothing special about any location in the cosmos, which would imply that there is no center and by extrapolation, no end. The distribution of the cosmic microwave background and galaxy clusters are two indicators that a universe that, at large enough scales, does not appear uniform. Whether it was the Sun, the Earth, or the Milky Way galaxy, humankind has always incorrectly assumed that they were situated in or near the universe's heart. However, the cosmos has shown differently, regardless of how unique we humans may feel. Let me take you through the recent discoveries made by scientists about the center of the universe in the next couple of minutes. So keep watching to discover these exciting discoveries.
Number 1. The Earth and other planets are not the center of the universe. The center of the universe is about a light year away from Earth in a direction we can't see. The universe is expanding, and this portion of outer space might get larger as we speak. Because the universe is expanding, the farther away you go from the center of the universe, the faster you move. Those who live in outer space might not be able to see Earth or any other planets or stars because they're always moving away from them. Based on Cosmic Radiation Background CMB, radiation observations, NASA believes its center is about 93 billion light-years from Earth. Number 2. The center of the universe might have a sun or two suns. According to scientists, because our universe is expanding, there could be two suns in the center of the universe. Both could be receiving heat energy from each other. A new study by researchers at UCSD suggests that these two suns may be very close. Scientists predict that the two suns would have to be separated by less than a light year. Scientists believe that the stars must be less than 10 million years old for a relationship like this to exist. The researchers suggest that these suns will die soon and explode into supernovas. Scientists believe our universe will be very calming once these suns die. It will allow humans to travel in outer space without harm. Energy from these supernovas would not be powerful enough to reach the Earth. The suns would start dying once separated by a distance of about 1,200 light-years from one another. Number 3. The center of the universe is formed from Ecto-11. The universe was formed from Ecto-11, which will eventually be used to make ghost traps. Its chemical properties include a density of 0.005 grams per cubic centimeter a mass of 4 times 10 kilograms, and a hardness of 1 on the Mohs scale of mineral hardness. Ecto-11 has a melting point of minus 0.8 Celsius and a boiling fact of 9 degrees Celsius. It is not radioactive, but is slightly toxic. Number 4. The center of the universe comprises nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen gas. The chemicals that make a star are too complex to see from space. Therefore, scientists have developed a new technology to observe the universe by analyzing the light spectrums emitted by specific atoms or molecules. Scientists did this when they discovered that helium in outer space was hydrogen gas with helium minus 3 impurities. Number 5. The center of the universe is smaller than a nucleus. The center of the universe, located in a parallel universe, is smaller than the nucleus of an atom. It should not be measured in terms of size, but in terms of influence and presence. The center of the universe is 6,994,476 degrees Kelvin in temperature, and 73% is comprised of alcohol. Number 6. The center of the universe is shaped like a W. The shape of the center of the universe is often said to be an upside-down T or a cross on its side. But now, thanks to the research from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg, Germany, and other contributing institutions around the world, we finally know that the shape of the center of our universe is shaped like a W. That's right, there's nothing too mysterious about it. We've just been looking at things wrong this whole time. Number 7. Gravity threatens the center of the universe. Scientists are afraid that the gravitational pull in this part of space could eventually result in a disastrous collapse, which would cause Earth to be destroyed. Scientists have not pinpointed a specific place from which this collapse will occur, but they believe it will happen somewhere between 100 million and 1 billion years from now. The researchers believe that many atoms or molecules in the center of the universe will eventually combine to form stars, planets, and suns. Some of these objects could also be collapsing and imploding. That way, an explosion could result. When this happens, all planets and stars within a radius of 1200 light years will be affected. These explosions might destroy even the Earth. Number 8. The center of the universe is a cave. Scientists discovered a cave in Antarctica that was thought to be an extraterrestrial base when it was spotted by a satellite in 2010. The images that were captured by the satellite 
show that its interior contains the same elliptical shape as those found on Earth. Scientists believe this could be caused by erosion, but they also think it might have been constructed with this shape. They have also discovered anomaly in the images that suggest living organisms might be inside. Scientists believe these might be the remains of extraterrestrial life on Earth and have been constructed by intelligent species, which they believe could also be a form of synthetic biology. To confirm their findings, scientists began to make expeditions to Antarctica. As a result, they found several structures inside the cave, but they have not found any humanoid forms or other forms of extraterrestrial life. Scientists have also tried identifying who or what may have constructed these. However, they discovered similar structures in other caves. They believed this might be the work of a species once located in Antarctica, before the ice crust began to form and expand over millions of years. Number 9. The Center of the Universe Has Metalloids in It the center of the universe possesses a wide variety of cosmic matter that includes hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Some scientists believe that other heavier elements might also be present in this region, though these are unknown. Number 10. The center of the universe has matter from multiple planets. The center of the universe contains matter from multiple planets, including planet Earth and Mars. These planets are similar in terms of chemical composition and make up about 70% of the matter in the universe. Number 11. The center of the universe is not a black hole. Scientists studied and discovered that the center of the universe is not a black hole. The study was based on observations recorded by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory in our Milky Way galaxy, which revealed very high concentrations of superheated gas moving at extremely high speeds. Scientists believe this high-energy gas is being propelled toward the galaxy's center by an invisible gravitational force. Scientists have found millions of black holes in our universe, and they can reach sizes of up to 30 million solar masses. However, the center of the universe is not made up of black holes and cannot be compared to them in terms of size or density. It is more a matter of low density than a lack of mass, for it contains a multitude compared to this cosmic object. Number 12. The center of the universe is not made up of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time and are thought to have been created during the Big Bang along with matter and light. In theory, these waves would radiate from the center of the universe, providing scientists with more information about the early stages of our universe. However, despite several studies, scientists have not detected any gravitational waves from this region. Scientists believe these waves could only exist if the center of the universe were made up of extremely dense matter. Number 13. The center of the universe is not in the Milky Way. The center of the universe is not located in our Milky Way, but in a parallel universe. It has been proven through scientific studies over the years. It has also been proven that this part of space-time was never affected by the Big Bang and did not send out gravitational waves. It is possible that this part of space-time was not affected by the Big Bang, but instead existed as a separate entity before being affected by the formation of Earth. Some scientists believe that this might also explain why light cannot reach the center of the universe due to its enormous distance from Earth. It is also possible that the center of the universe was formed due to the Big Bang, but it emanated from a different part of space than Earth. Number 14. The center of the universe is not Andromeda. The center of the universe is outside Andromeda and is beyond our visible universe. Scientists have calculated that it takes light 4.3 billion years to reach us from our galaxy, which means that we can only see as far as 4.3 billion light years away. The center of the universe is outside Andromeda, meaning we can see as far as 9 billion light years. Even at its furthest point, the center of the universe is still visible to us in Andromeda. However, scientists believe it will be possible to see many more places over the next few years. It has been proven by a research team led by Andrew Shemyon and his colleagues at the University of California in Berkeley. Number 15. The center of the universe is in a parallel universe. 
During the 22nd meeting of the American Astronomical Society, the discovery of a galaxy located 9 billion light years away was reported. Thus, it is possible to reach places separated by 9 billion light years from our Milky Way galaxy, which is located 5.5 billion light years away. The universe is estimated to be 13.7 billion years old, meaning that this galaxy is the oldest object ever discovered. Scientists believe that reaching a place 9 billion light years away means they have found the center of the universe, which they believe is located in a parallel universe. Conclusion Scientists have yet to identify the center of our galaxy. However, they have discovered a region in our universe where all its matter is simultaneously found. At the same location, gravity affects nearby celestial bodies. The discovery could represent a promising door for future research into the fundamental nature of our universe. It also provides scientists with proof that our galaxy does not contain a black hole, but something different which can only be described as matter in motion. When scientists observe the center of our universe, they always see a dramatically different picture than what they can expect to find. Based on their investigations, the center of the universe is much more similar to our galaxy than it is to a black hole. The center of our universe is composed mainly of hydrogen, helium, and oxygen. Some scientists believe that other heavier elements might be present as well. These elements come from multiple planets and stars in our galaxy and many others around the universe. However, they are being destroyed by tremendous explosions. Thus, the center of our universe has matter from multiple planets. Scientists are not sure what will happen at the center of the universe. Still, they believe that something like a black hole may be formed when the gravitational pull causes atoms and molecules to boil together, which could cause other objects in the universe to collapse and implode. Please follow us and like our video if you haven't done so. We also invite you to leave us a comment below about this video and other interesting discoveries we might have left out. Goodbye and see you in the next video.